I was at Xiaopeng Xpeng's AI Day. They unveiled their new robot. It's basically the female version of their iron robot. And I was looking at the stage and I'm thinking, that's not a robot. That's a person. That's a person pretending to be a robot. And I thought to myself, am I the only one thinking this? It turns out I wasn't. I wasn't the only person thinking this. But there's more to this story. In fact, there's a lot more. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Elon Musk has actually commented on this. He said that um, basically everyone is screwed. Chinese car companies and Tesla or Chinese companies and Tesla are the only ones who are going to survive in this industry. Um, this has been reported on in China. I'm not sure if Musk really said this, but I saw some comments saying, claiming he said this. Now, yeah, as I was saying, I was watching this show live and I'm not the only person who thought this female robot was actually a female because it, even its bottom looked like a female bottom. Like, I don't know how, how you can actually... Uh, explain that, but you, got, you know what I mean, right? They're different. Men and men's and women's bottoms are different, yeah? YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Anyway, Xiaopeng Xpeng unveiled their next generation iron humanoid robot at the AI day. Many question whether the company had hidden a real person inside the demonstration prototype because it really did look like a girl and it really, really kind of walked like a girl as well. The question started as scattered discussions, but they quickly evolved into trending topics on Chinese social media and Xiaopeng's management has been forced to respond to this. Xiaopeng, or Xpeng's female eye and humanoid robot, wowed the audience with a catwalk appearance at the AI event, but... Over half of online comments questioned whether a real person was hidden inside. The company's chairman and CEO, He Xiaopeng, said on Weibo. And I did initially, but then I realized I was wrong. So the more I looked at this robot, the more I realized that actually it wasn't a person. Anyway, the CEO said this, this truly leaves our robotics team both delighted and amused. Some people just can't believe how fast the world is changing, he said. He shared an unedited video demonstrating that the new generation iron is indeed a robot. Tesla's robot can't walk this smoothly. There's no way this is possible, said a social media user. Um, basically, a lot of comments are saying it's, the robot is too good for it to be real. But I've got to admit, when I looked closer at the walking while it was walking, because I said to someone standing behind me, I said, that's a person. And then I realized that I was wrong. I could see the, the individual movements being made by the robot, which were too jerky for a person. Even though it was very smooth, it was still too jerky for a human. And I don't think any human could have made those movements. Anyway, the, the CEO said in the video that standing next to Iron, he could hear wind noise due to internal cooling. He also showcased the humanoid robot's hand details and the microphone array position near its ears. And I've got to admit, I was I actually got a, as an opportunity to go up close to Xpeng's new robots. And they're pretty amazing. They definitely have improved significantly. But because of this kind of skepticism, Xpeng's stock went down. It went down by about 5% um, after this unveiling. So kind of wild, yeah? My solar and batteries. I've got a 50 kilowatt hour battery here and I've got a big solar array. So I pay zero dollars for electricity that's including charging my electric car resync solar is the company that i used i'll put a link to them in the description below the new iron model is about the same size as the first generation product which was unveiled at xiaopeng's 2024 ai day last november but it has a humanoid spine bionic muscles flexible skin and a 3d curved display on its head so it looks a lot more realistic. It's powered by Xpeng's second generation VLA or Vision Language Action Model, which by the way, Volkswagen have also invested into. Oh, apparently there's just some sort of joint venture program going on. It incorporates three in-house developed Turing AI chips delivering 2,250 tops of computing power. That's more than any other robot 
in the world that I'm aware of. If you know of one with more than 2,250 tops of computing power, please let us all know because I've never heard of it. The humanoid robot achieves pretty advanced capabilities like conversation, walking, and interaction through Xpeng's AI tech, said the company. I don't know exactly how much of this is, you know, its brain cap capable of actually doing this stuff or it's programmed into the, the, the robot. I don't think anyone actually knows, but it's still pretty damn advanced. Xpeng aimed to achieve mass production of advanced robots by the end of 2026. You know, Tesla's made some sort of promises like that as well. It's all a bit optimistic. That, and I, I very much doubt that that would happen. But anyway, whatever the case may be, I was wrong. And so were a lot of people. This thing is so realistic that um, it fooled us all, which is an amazing, amazing achievement. One year ago, Xpeng stock price was sitting in the doldrums. It had basically shrunk enormously. About that time, I had to sell my stock and I did. I mentioned why, but part of the reason was actually because I had to, well, I needed the money to buy a house. And I didn't have a whole lot of choice. But I've got to say at the time, I was surprised that my stock hadn't gone up and that it had gone down. And I couldn't understand what was going on. I couldn't understand why consumers had stopped buying Xpeng cars. That all of a sudden changed drastically. In fact, this year, Xpeng sales have grown more than any other car company in the world. I don't think any of us could have predicted that. But considering how good their cars are for the money, we should have known that would happen, I guess you could say. Hindsight can be a cruel mistress. This year, Xpeng stock price has doubled. And its market share as a result has gone above, climbed above for the first time, its rivals, Lee Auto and Neo. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Looking at Xpeng, exactly one year ago, yeah, on the 1st of January, Xpeng stock price was sitting at $11.50. It's now sitting at around $23. So it's almost exactly doubled in price in the space of one year. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Its market cap is now sitting at 20.4 billion. 